Hello, how are you doing? In the context of LLMs, have you heard the term mixture of experts? And you're not quite sure you know exactly what this is. Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. So what is mixture of experts or MO for short? Mixture of experts is a type of model architecture that leverages multiple specialized models called experts to handle different parts of the input data. Instead of having a single model process all input data, Mo uses a gating mechanism to dynamically select the most relevant experts or parts of the model for a given input, making it an efficient approach. The mixture of experts model was first introduced by Ronald Jacobs, Michael Jordan, Steve Nolan, and Jeffrey Hinton in the paper titled Adaptive Mixtures of Local Experts, published in 1991. It's important to understand the experts in the mixture of experts model are not explicitly assigned to specific human defined domains like math, accounting, history, or science. Instead, they emerge organically during training as specialists in different aspects of the input data distribution. Each expert is activated on a per token basis, meaning different experts handle different words, phrases, or sentence structures. How are experts selected? A gating network determines which experts out of all the experts available are to be activated for each input. Only a subset of the experts are active during each forward pass, making it computationally efficient. Why are MO models characterized by sparsity? Well, by activating only a small number of experts out of the total maximum number of experts, the architecture reduces computational cost while maintaining high model capacity. This sparsity allows scaling to very large models without a linear increase in compute resources. What about training? Well, training a MO model is more complex. The gating mechanism and sparse updates introduce challenges in optimization and training stability. MO models require load balancing to avoid under or overutilized experts. So what about implementing and deploying MO models for inference in production? Well, it turns out there is also more implementation overhead and complexity with MO models. MO models require specialized infrastructure to handle dynamic routing and sparse computation efficiently. So are there MO models in the wild? Well, the answer is yes. One popular MO model is Mixtral by Mistral AI, a French startup. Launched in December 2023, Mixtral 8x7b is an open source MO language model with 46.7 billion parameters utilizing eight experts with a sparsity of two. This means that two of the eight experts are activated at any given time during inference. It outperforms models like GPT 3.5 and LAMA 270B on various benchmarks. Another MO model is a Chinese model DeepSeq R1. DeepSeq R1 was launched in January 2025. This open source MO model comprises 671 billion parameters with only 37 billion parameters activated during inference. So in summary, mixture of experts, or MO for short, is a type of machine learning architecture that leverages multiple specialized submodels, also known as experts, to handle different parts of the input data. Instead of having one single model process all the input data, MO uses a gating mechanism to dynamically select the most relevant experts for a given input, making it a sparse and efficient approach. As AI models continue to grow in size and complexity, MO offers a cost-effective, scalable, and highly performance architecture, ensuring its long-term adoption across AI applications. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other videos in this playlist, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology. 
and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud, machine learning, AI, LLMs. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, but get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I want to hear about it. With that, have a great day. Thanks.